Hello everyone, Brad Johnson here. In this video, we're going to be talking about giving guidance to channeling. There are still a lot of people that roam the internet, that talk to a lot of other people uh, who perform their particular craft relating to channeling states, relating to where they can get into a state, bring particularly a consciousness through, and begin presenting this profound information. Now, being one of these particular people who can do this, there's a lot of people that want to gain insight on how they're able to fundamentally channel. How they're able to literally get into a state, an altered state of consciousness, and literally bring a being, a consciousness, an extension of themselves through them to do a lot of the work that we see a lot on the internet. We have a lot of very popular channels. We have the Abraham Hicks, we have the Bashars, we have all of these other different types of channels that are presenting some really monumental, amazing, incredible information to the world. And so many people uh, come up to me and talk to me uh, over the past near five year span that I've been doing a lot of this work and even when I was looking into channeling myself and wondering how can it be done? How do you channel? How do you get into that state? How do you know when an entity is kind of proverbially knocking on your mind, so to speak, to come through and that your perception changes? Are we all capable of doing that? Are we literally all capable of going into a state and bringing in an entity like Adronis, an entity like Bashar, a consciousness like Abraham? and bringing that through ourselves, that we can do this. Can every single one of us do this? No, not every single one of us can do this. However, every single one of us has the ability to channel or to provide this extension of flow through us in our own way. I have met many people throughout my travels, throughout talking to people, uh, wherever I've gone across the Pacific Northwest and as well as online and they have really astounded me in regards to their own fundamental abilities of how they've been able to channel, about how they've been able to perform inspirational speaking, of the artwork that they create, of the writing that they do, of the music they produce. Everything of that nature is a state of channeling. And it doesn't even have to be called channeling. Channeling is a very, very popular phrase that we've coined, you know, throughout the collective consciousness to give the idea that an extension of ourselves, another form of consciousness, is coming through and bringing information through. And channeling doesn't always relate to that. Channeling really is like looking inside the maze of the mind and that we're just connecting through these canals to bring us to a source. And that's basically, you know, if you're looking at a nest in that sense, with all of these interwoven, intertwined, you know, strings, and we're just trying to navigate our way into the source, into the center. That basically can represent the idea of channeling. We're going through the channels to bring ourselves into the center of the source. You can call it telepathic relay. You can call it inspirational speaking. You can call it just pure inspiration. You can call it aha moments. You can call it getting a download. Whatever you want to refer to it, each and every single one of us has the capability of doing this. Now, many of us who have been able to get into that particular state where it involves bringing in another extension of our consciousness to vividly speak through us is again providing a lot of information. This is indeed how certain people who have contracts, who have agreements with these other extensions of consciousness are bringing in a different type of way of how we're able to establish contact with other beings, whether they be extraterrestrial, 
whether they be extra dimensional, whether they be angelic, whether they be part of an oversoul, whatever it may be. There are a lot of people that have this profound ability that can go into this state and start bringing in this other consciousness. And again, this is a very, very attractive uh, quality that a lot of people really want to be able to do. But again, not everybody can do this. It's not that the human body is not capable. It's that the theme that you're playing with right now has a different theme attached to it. So it's a theme within a theme. You have the theme of inspirational speaking, of the aha moments, but it's coming through in a different way. It's coming through your writing, it's coming through your music, it's coming through your art, it's coming through your dance, it's coming through you gardening, working with the dirt of nature, it's coming through you singing in the shower, having a great morning. That's inspirational speaking, that's channeling, that's the aha moment, that's the download. So what I'm going to do in this video to demonstrate the guidance of channeling is I'm going to demonstrate my own channeling ability. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring in Adronis, again, the energy, the being, the essence that I channel, and he'll give his perspective relating to that of the channeling state, inspirational speaking, the aha moments, and uh, basically give a particular insight for those who are looking to go further into themselves to achieve a conscious awareness of where they want to go pertaining to a channeling state. All right, so give me a moment and I'll be here, sir. One. <clears throat> We are here at this time and we bid you greetings and thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis from Sirius, sending love, appreciation and gratitude to all who are tuning in to this particular video transmission being brought forward through your internet collective consciousness. We have been asked by the channel, by the conduit, relating to our particular perspective in regards to channeling in regards to inspirational speaking. And that literally, yes, it is all one and the same. That you all have the capability of doing this, but in your own profound way. So what we would like to ask each and every single one of you to do right now is get a hold of a piece of paper and grab a pen. And with the energies that you feel coming through this video right now, as we are literally sending out these energies through this camera, through this video, directly to you, that we are transponding an energy that represents a symbol to each and every single one of you that are tuning in to this transmission. We want you to be able, without thought, to literally Feel our energies and begin drawing out a spontaneous image upon the piece of paper. It does not have to look so detailed, it does not have to look so crisp and perfect. Rather, it simply is the result of a spontaneous reaction. So, take your pen upon your paper and draw an image of the energy that we are broadcasting, that we are sending out to you right now. It's alright, we'll wait. All right, go ahead and stop. Now, what you have just drawn upon that piece of paper is your own interpretation, your own unique interpretation of our energies. Congratulations, you've just performed a channeling state. You've just performed your ability to act spontaneously without thought. That really is the idea. You put aside your own conscious thought and you tuned into the flow of the moment. This is where you are at your most powerful. This is what it is to be empowered. This is what it is to have that aha moment. To go with the universe. To go with the momentum of now. 
and that the momentum of now has brought you into creating this fundamental image, this energy that has been translated through your pen and through your paper upon your perceptions. That's it. That's all it takes. So if you're able to do that within the moment, just based upon our asking, our request to do so, from us sending energy through this camera, through this video, directly to you, what's stopping you from allowing yourself to explore this further? To do it through your art, to do it through your writing, to do it through your music, to do it by singing in the shower. Whatever it may be, when you begin to play in the moment with the universe, the universe appears its brightest before you. Because you're playing in the moment. You're not allowing the state of what has happened mentality to be brought forward into your entire awareness. You are putting all of that aside. You are functioning upon the incubus of now. And what we mean by that is that you are containing yourself together in this moment to become inspired, to feel the flow of where the energy wants to take you. It is a galloping horse to where you are within the moment, the horse approaches you and it allows you to get upon its back and take you on a ride. You have no idea where the horse is going to take you, but it's going to take you somewhere divine because you have no expectations. You have no idea where you're going to go, but you're in so much joy in the moment, you can't wait to get started. This is what we would recommend to every single one of you that want to understand the guidance of what it is to channel, of what it is to be in a moment of inspiration that can last for as long as you wish, because you're within the incubus, you're within the nexus of the moment. So be in that moment, flow in that moment, and connect in this way. That the way that the conduit right now is interacting in regards to our energies, blending together with his own, is that he is very much aware of what is being spoken right now. But he's not paying attention to the flow of how it needs to be expressed, how it needs to be shared. Brad is very much conscious. He is very much aware of what's happening. He realizes that his body is rotating counterclockwise right now and that this energy is all part of a purification effect to bring his energies together with our own, to meet halfway, and to connect in this degree of blending between our energies and his. Therefore, that's the whole idea. He's playing within the moment even though realizing consciously that this is occurring. That's the whole idea with all of you. You knew that you had that piece of paper, you knew that you had that pen in your hand, and you knew that you were drawing something, but you really didn't know what it would be until you're able to put that pen down and you looked at it and saying, oh my goodness, I never expected to draw something like that. I wonder what this could be. This seems very, very interesting. This is where the ponderance takes place. The physical self now looks at it to see what has happened. But you, in that sense, are able to continue, to continue to create more in what's happening now. That's the journey. That's the excitement. That's why you're on planet Earth. That's why you're in this physical reality. That's why you're here through the universe to connect to what's happening. Not what's happened or what you feel might happen, but to be here in this moment, in the nexus, in the incubus, of your now moment. This is what it is to live. This is what it is to grow. This is what it is to prosper. This is what it is to evolve. This is what it is to advance. This is what it is to love, is to be here now and to have that amazing feeling that you just had, not knowing what you were creating on that piece of paper through the energies that we were presenting but being excited, feeling that bliss. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. I don't know what I'm creating, but it looks really interesting. That's it. It's okay to say, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm creating right now. I don't know where my day is going. I don't know what I feel I have to do right here, right now. You're not supposed to know. All you're meant to do is get on that horse and let that horse gallop. Let that horse run across the field. Let that horse take you to lands unimaginable. Because this is what it is to live. This is what it is to channel. This is what it is to be inspiring. This is the channeling state. This is the state where you are allowing the imagination to truly be tangibly intangible. Because the intangibility is the not knowing. The tangibility is the result of the not knowing coming through the pen, drawing it on the paper to really get excited that this is now being translated into physical form. Congratulations. Have fun with this. And this is what we wish to leave you with this day of your time is to enjoy the now moment, is to be in the incubus of now, is to be here in the core of the nexus and have a blast, have blissful excitement that comes through and allow yourself to gallop along with that horse, the horse of the now, to take you to those unimaginable lands that truly are all part of the enigma that is yourself. So we thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis from Sirius, sending love, appreciation, and gratitude to all who are tuning in to this video transmission brought forward through the interface of your internet collective consciousness. Thank you very much, farewell for this timing, and we now return to the conduit. We will see you all again in the moment. Goodbye for now. And it really is that simple.